Hi, Mike with Enviroscape LA. It's February and it's a little bit cold here in Southern California. This is my front yard. I just wanted to give you a little tour of what a landscape guy has for a front yard. Sometimes it's not, it's torn up, but this year we're doing, we've incorporated some really interesting things and I just wanted to give you a little one to two minute tour of my front yard. Uh, we, my company, Enviroscape LA, does a lot of ponds and waterfalls. And so if you can see over here, we've got these waterfalls. They actually have these like at Disney World and Disneyland. They're called pondless waterfalls where you can actually step. And I can actually step on this thing and it's like magic. It just continues to, re it cycles around and around and around. And if you notice right here, I've got drip irrigation. And so the drip irrigation saves a ton of water. I not only have neat drought tolerant plants, but I've also got drip irrigation because I like to use as little bit of water as possible. Over here, I've got some native grass we're trying out. This is native, so it needs very, very little water. My favorite tree in the world, the strawberry tree, the Arbutus marina, has this beautiful red bark and it actually has fruit that's edible. And uh, I think I've eaten them all. And so, love, absolutely love this tree. Uh, we, we walk up here, up to my front entrance to my house. I have uh, colored succulents, almost look like flowers, don't they? Uh, this is an etch uh, Echeveria, excuse me, Aeonium. And uh, it's got multiple colors, three colors, really, really cool thing. Uh, this actually grows into a tree and it gets uh, orange flowers at certain times of the year. I've got my side pads over there. There's a, an agave that's about the top color with the, with the orange. And I might mention that besides the waterfalls and all the fun stuff I have here, we just added um, a space age edition. Uh, Enviroscape has gone into the next millennium with the space age garden. I've seen a lot of my neighbors plant gardens in their front yards, soil gardens and their spinach and so on. And I thought, you know what? That's the old fashioned way of doing it because every time they put water, that's water that's gone. It feeds the roots, but it's gone. You never see that water again. And the way water prices are going up in Southern California, huge, tremendous. Is there a better way? Yes. Um, I figured out, or actually did the research and found out uh, this vertical garden, uh, tower garden, if you will. And so I thought, well, how could I do this? How could I be so close to my front door and have a, a vegetable garden growing up? So I put some pebbles around it, put some um, cobbles around that, and I just planted it yesterday. Put this in, it actually took me about five minutes to put it together, less than five minutes. And um, I expect to have this whole thing, you won't be able to see white on this thing in about a month. It will be covered with um, cucumbers and lettuce and basil, tomatoes. Um, I've done it before. I, I have two other units actually. I have one on my deck in the back and one in the backyard. I just love these things because you can get so much food production and recycle the same water over and over again. Um, I've got these little basalt fountains right here. This is a really cool thing. These things, they actually drill, they're, they're, it's real stone. These things are about 200 pounds a piece. They actually drill through this. We put a pump in the bottom and then we have little LED lights on top. Really cool at night. It comes on and it's like, wow, it's the for stuff. So just wanted to give you a tour of the front yard. I've given tours of the backyard. You can look that up on YouTube too. Anyway, this is Mike Garcia from Enviroscape LA. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.